So the first fish up to bat is salmon. That's my go-to fish. And it's gonna go so good on the queue with a sweet, smoky raspberry glaze. And look at the color of that fish. This is Pacific salmon, and it cooks up in a flash. There's not a lot of fat into it, but there's really good flavor. That's a nice piece of salmon. But check this one out. This is Atlantic salmon. It's a beast. It's a lot thicker. There's more fat. It does really good on the grill because you can get some char marks on it. So I think I'm gonna grill the Atlantic. All right, I love this salmon because the prep work to get it grill ready is dead simple. So just a little bit of olive oil, and I just simply season it with a little bit of kosher salt. Barbecue worthy, grill ready. Now the only other thing I need to make is a raspberry glaze. You can use fresh raspberries if you like, but I really like using frozen raspberries because when they come out of the freezer and they have like more water in it and it's really easy to strain them out and get the juice. This part's great, super simple. Raspberries into a hot pan. Raspberries are pretty tart, so to sweeten it up, just a little sugar. You can use white sugar, anything that's nice and sweet. Ginger. Look at that color, it's so cool. All right, so the raspberries are kind of tart. The white sugar's in there to sweeten it up. The ginger's in there to give it a little bit of body, and I want some heat smoked paprika. It's barbecue, baby. Everybody needs a little sunshine in their life. Lemon juice. You can use lime juice if you want, even orange, but I think there's just something really romantic about lemon and raspberry. There's a lot of good flavor in there, and just one last thing to kind of heighten everything, rise the curtain on the big show, good pinch of salt. That's barbecue ready. So I like this barbecue to start high heat. I want some char marks on the salmon. High heat's the way to go. And I always oil the grill a little bit. And as soon as I put the fish on, just a little bit of pressure, not much, just a little bit of pressure. It really helps with the grill marks. ready for a quarter turn. Now, here's a great tip to get really pro char marks. Just kind of like stand straight at it, grab the fish, lift it, quarter turn, back down, little bit of pressure, leave it alone. Now, green onions are pretty good on their own, but if you put a little char on the green onions, they go from, ha, I'm a green onion, to, hey, I'm a green onion. Just simple, a little bit of oil, massage it around, and right onto the grill. All right, salmon's ready for a flip and a glaze. Oh yes, look at those char marks. That's why you start at high heat, get a good char, doesn't stick to the grill, and then you can turn the heat down a little and glaze. I like to be pretty generous with this stuff because it's quite tasty. Full of flavor, man. That fish is gorgeous, sexy, finished. That makes me happy. All right, this is my favorite part. I always save a little bit of sauce when I'm barbecuing. It's great to put it on the plate because it looks pretty and it's tasty. Now you can eat the green onions long like this. But sometimes they get like a little bit chewy, so I always like to cut them up. the middle of the salmon is kind of like slightly translucent. For me, it doesn't get any better than that. 
Mega. The Atlantic salmon is so flavorful with all the natural fat in it. The raspberries are kind of like tart. They're kind of sweet. They're kind of spicy. And the charred green onion, delicious. Nice.